production here, loading the buses. Even father's in, the, in on the project today. The last of them are going out onto the buses. Morning, Steve. Good morning. We are going to the cathedral, but we are not going by the river. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. We are going by the town. We are going to go to Burgos, and we are going to cross a gate. They wrote the Bible, look behind me. It's starting the New Testament. And on the top, the old, we have the Bible wrote in saints. The central book, it's a Gregorian chant book. How clever were people in the 16th and 15th century. They had to be praying in the office in the Gregorian chant, but they had to be standing. Sometimes it was so long time standing. They were not tired. They had, this is not allowed. Coming out to get on the bus, there's Gilberto. We say goodbye to the cathedral here in Burgos.
When we take these long drives between countries, we stop every hour and a half or so to use the restrooms and get snacks and coffee and uh, just to rest up a bit. <laughs> The drive through northern Spain is really quite beautiful and keeps your eyes going back and forth all the time. We also watched my movie on Jesus, The Word Became Flesh, and uh, since we're learning about the faith, we thought it would be a good idea. And um, here we are coming into almost to the French border. We are now passing from Spain into France. That is the border between Spain and France. We are now in France. And where you see the toll in front of us, there's the toll right after we pass the toll. We will be in France. You are going to see road signs saying that we are in France. And these gray buildings on the right hand side are uh, the... So I entered the seminary in 96, and uh, I think most most young men and young people that are considering religious life really don't know is that, you know, just because you're thinking about this, or just because you enter the seminary or uh, religious formation doesn't mean it's going to happen. Uh, there's two parties that have to discern this, and one is yourself or the candidate, and the other is the church. Uh, nobody has a right to this. Uh, so the church has to discern this too, and because uh, there's a lot at stake if it's not the call. I mean, it's not just you that will suffer, but others will too if you're given any sort of ministry or live in a community. Uh, it can be really disastrous uh, if it's not well discerned. Now, it's not always perfect, you know, but uh, so it's one year at a time. And, and the, the key of that in the seminary formation for me was, uh, was uh, at a certain point in time, I entered a program for Dassin Seminarians, a summer program, actually hosted in my home city of Omaha. Carry them in with us uh, so that God can do a healing work in their hearts. Let's pray in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, you open your hand and you satisfy the desires of the living. We praise you for all that you are doing for us right at this moment. We ask for healing in our hearts and our lives, and for all who we have brought with us uh, on this pilgrimage spiritually, that you may touch their lives and give them the healing in which, uh, for which they are most in need. Bless this food, let it be nourishment for our bodies, let our companionship be nourishment for our spirits, and may the bread of life always be our nourishment unto the kingdom. Bless us, O Lord. Amen. 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 Amen.